Hello and welcome to this brand new let's play of uh, Alice, Manus Returns. Sequels! Yes! Everyone loves sequels. Sequels are fantastic. Except when they're not in the crap. But luckily this is not one of them. The crap ones, that is. Yes. Anyway, I have played this before because I played it when it came out because I was totally not going to not play it because, you know, <laughs> Alice. And uh, quickly, just to go over a few things, I do have the DLC. DLC is fantastic. Oh look! Ooh, hello! Oh goodness! Ooh! Ah, that's that's pretty frightening. Hello! Ooh! Strange. But we're gonna we're gonna go with default because you know default is good. Without further ado, let's start. <laughs> Don't think so. Not this time, game. Not this time. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yes. No. No. Who do 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 this? Why would you invert vertical lift? That's just madness. On a mouse? You're going crazy. Up to go down? What do you think this is? Nano stick? Right. It's similar to the first game in about zero ways. Basically the combat's better. There's very few there's no like stages as in stage one, stage two, stage three, which is what the original had. And there's nothing like that. But what you'll see is something completely different. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream, it, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait, you're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. In my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be alright. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? No, not that. Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonderland emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. The wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. Goodness me. I thought I had bad cheese and do nightmares. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again. The past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. Come along, Alice. We're very late. Not all day. Ugh. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? past is dead, Charlie. Well, to be fair, Charlie, you ain't gonna get by any looks, are you? You're a strange looking man. Hello, Alice. Pervy camera. 
Uh, up. There we go. Okay. Now we get to explore a bit. This is this is how Alice looks now. I think it's about what is it? Ten years since the last game. You will take camera. Behave. Uh, boys' room. What's up, guys? What's wrong there? Can't find the door. What? What door, Alice? What are you jabbering about? Oh, so we can talk to the strange, strange children in the room. Hello. Oh God. There we go. Hello. Wear bloomers. Wear bloomers? What? Your madness. Uh, let's go over here. Hello. Does it? Worse than your room? I didn't believe that for a minute. Hang on a minute. There's some settings on. There shouldn't be. There we go. Sadly, we can't have the very, very pretty physics on because it's. While it looks lovely, it wrecks havoc with fraps. Room? Because I don't have an Nvidia card. <laughs> Let us leave the boys' room. It is smelly, Alice. We don't want to talk to smelly boys. Come on. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. We, we already know it's Alice, but the door's probably down here. Let's just. Girls' room. Oh my God! What the hell's happened to this one? Do you right? Still sick in the head? Ugh. I'm past a cure. Terminal the condition. Alice, worry less about yourself and this chick. I mean, she's been crossed between a man and a rat. Which is disturbing. Yes, th thank you, helpful hint. Hmm. Creepy. Let's carry on, shall we? Wasting doctor's time. I deserve Look at these my kids. Tears. Someone's gone out their Some faces with a sledgehammer. Poor children. I do love like the art style of the game, it's really funky. It's like, it's got that weird sort of weirdness that only weird things can sort of weird you out with. I mean, is it weird enough? I don't think so. It's like weird town. Abandoned toys and worn out shoes have a past, and the people who use them too. <laughs> Alice is very emo about the fire thing. Also, that hair. Just look at that, look at that. The, the hair is fantastic in the game. It is brilliant and amazing and full of hair and it's like basically if Bayonetta was crossed with like a wig store. It's fantastic. The world's gone quite mad. Well, don't, Alice darling, don't, you know, I'm not going to take your word for it if you don't mind. I'm not crazy. Come on, Alice, we didn't spend time in the loony bin, did we? No, no, we didn't, Alice. Mr. Too Kane much. had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. It's a photograph of the family. Mm. Oh, Alice, you've drawn some very strange things. You're crap at drawing. They don't ever tell you that. Well, they probably didn't, in case you, you know, go crazy. Except you are crazy. Ooh, an umbrella. Where are we going anyway? I've only done this the once, I've, I can't remember most of this. You're talking shit about Alice, yeah? You starting, kids, yeah? Do you see how tall I am? Don't listen to them, Alice, it's fine. Come on, we'll go over this way. We'll go outside. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Who you talking to, Alice? Oh, yes, now you see the lovely lighting issues we're going to have problems with. If the camera moves, the lighting will change. It doesn't happen everywhere, but it happens enough to be very annoying. I call work now, bastards. We can talk to people. Say hello. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go round. Uh, why can't I go this way? Fine. Nice side fit. You could build a flat on it. Hmm? <laughs> Welcome to Victorian London. Yes, it was a crap hole. Especially sideways. Oh wow, machine-made corsets. You like baccarini, Missy? How about baccarini? I don't know. Not until I tried it. Is that a cat? Things. These crazy she London kids. Where's her flat? Too good for company. She don't get close. Hates being touched. Who likes it then? Never slap. Stupid kids. Hello. Who are you looking at? Okie kitty, man in the moon, engineer. That's cool, I can work with that. So, man in the sun is kind of like the driver, or what? Not part of the song? <laughs> Whatever. Hello? <sighs> Lay off the crack, ladies. It's not good for you. 
Fuck off, Missy. Move along. What? I want to come through this way. Fine. It's a market store, huh? Anything tasty? Christ, it's like a stepped in the fable. What, right, chicken chaser? How's it going? Look, it's the chicken chaser. Actually, no, it's, it's actually done in like the local accent from around here, isn't it? Ooh, are chicken chaser? How's it going, chicken chaser? Well, Alice ain't no chicken chaser. She chases cats. It's a pussy chick. No. No. No, no, it's not. Let's not go there. Hello? Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? You're talking to cats, woman. You mad? <laughs> well, wait, don't answer that. Hello? What, I'll officer? Teach you. Move along, no, Alice. Good. I can run you in just for being off your nut. <laughs> That's not very nice. Uh, officer, you you do know, don't you, that you're totally kicking in that, uh, that man's balls. You you can't do that. It's against the law. Don't yawn at me. <laughs> Some so rude. You know, I'm going to go talk to the cat now. You lot suck. Hello, kitty. Hey. Well, this ain't gonna end in tears. Now, where has that cat gone? All living things die eventually. What the hell was that? It was like a horse. We keep a horse out here. Bizarre. Ooh, kitty. Yeesh. Nice teeth you got there, ma'am. Ugh. Here around London sucks. Look how difficult this is. Like a real job. No change in nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphan. You can make someone happy. Save the world. Ten minutes at a time. Uh. No, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Don't really want to sort of pursue those avenues of, uh. Whatever that, that is. That's cool. Let's just go. Alice, we've hit dodgy area town. You look like a discerning Jenny. Right. Let's just go talk to the cat. The cat's probably more sane than the rest of you around here. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Um, some people it's a vice. Depends who you talk to. Some people learn first. You know, Alice, this doesn't look very safe, you know. Just saying. Alice, foggy, dark alleyways? Yeah, not a good idea, methinks. Oh! Alice has been on the coke again. My stars and garters. Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Shut up, old crone. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. <coughs> I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. My pet rabbit? Why do I want that? Oh wait, Still she wants it. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. 